guys, so this is Judith. I am going to creep out uh, three dolls. Yep, I got three of them. They are ceramic, although this one I think is ceramic. It kind of feels a little bit different. This one's definitely, and she's dirty. Oh my god. Okay, so this one is like a, a music box, the bottom. A uh, couple of bride, and one is just a lady in white. So I got myself some dye. I have never tried this brand. And I want to do red, although I want a deep red. So I figured that I would add some black to it. So this is fabric dye. I don't know if you guys want to try it out. And I'll see how that works because that's the third type that I am actually going to try. Uh, the toilet one I was happy with. Um, so hopefully this is all right. So it's it's a powder. There's I think there's also uh, liquid which I haven't tried that yet. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to read the uh, information in the back because I don't know this particular brand. And um, after I am secure with what I am doing, I'm going to undress these babies and dye the, start by dyeing their, uh, their outfit. Alright, so uh, let me go read a little bit. Talk to you soon. Alright, so uh, let's undress them. This was given to me... Uh, by a friend, I believe these two. This one was in a box with like a. Now you're stuck here in that for a while. But I'm gonna go ahead and undress them, get them ready. The clothes, that's nice actually. Uh, get the clothes ready for red. So I'm gonna show you how I dye my stuff. So this is how it goes. Can you see? Uh, try to make it focus. So uh, let me read this. It says, uh, most vibrant fibers such as 100% cotton, rayon, and silk not suitable for polyester, acrylic, and fabric with special finishes. So I don't know how these are going to turn out. Uh, direction. Uh, this is terrible. Wear protective glove, avoid skin, and eye contact during use in case of contact, blah, blah. Um, fill stainless steel sink with one gallon of steaming hot water and stir a quarter cup tablespoon, a uh, quarter cup tablespoon of salt. Uh, pour in dye packet and stir until dissolved, submerge fabric. Um, hope you can read this. Submerge so fabric and dye mixture. Stir continually for 15 minutes and occasionally for 45 minutes. So it looks like it takes about an hour. Uh, rinse fabric in cold water. Wash in warm water and dry away from direct heat and sunlight. So, <sighs> looks like it's going to take an hour. Ugh. But, uh... All right, so I uh, took two more dolls. This was a clown. This was another uh, whitish outfit. So I've got actually four. Uh, these two I may do later on, especially that one is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, these are going to be my girls. So let's go in the kitchen.
so there it is this dress did not pick up the color at all uh, except for the trims uh, looks like the trims and the little um, the little piece in front here looks like that picked up um, these are kind of purplish pink the socks that was useless the socks did not pick up either this is more purple than red this is more black than anything else I guess it depends on the fabric how it's gonna turn out just uh, be prepared not to be totally satisfied this is more purple it used to be white well white with lines in it this is a clown one uh, this is the bow that was on top of the the hair this is actually purplish black um, this dress is the only one that actually came out kind of pink instead of red. The uh, trims are redder than the rest, so that's kind of cool. I may have to dirty some of this uh, while it's on the um, while it's on the the uh, the doll, maybe with blood or something. I don't know because we never know how that's going to turn out. See here, the trim is black. Ribbon is red, like it should have been, and the dress is purple. So, uh, this particular brand, I am not very excited about, to tell you the truth. So, I don't recommend it. I'm not going there. Um, I guess it depends what it is you want to achieve. Um, but yeah, I really wanted red. And the only thing that came, kind of came out like it is the one of the four dolls that I decided to go for I even did the little trim on the shoes that came out red so anyway there it is now you knew um, uh, I guess I'll have to figure out if I want to keep it like that or if I want to turn it black I'm thinking of I go only on the face uh, because this is where I'm gonna be painting most of my work I mean drawing super clear is really good if you get to use a uh, pencil or anything on those dolls um, it helps because if you don't put that it'll just slide off basically it doesn't really write on so uh, that's the best way to go about it that's why I put a and every time you put like uh, let's say makeup on them or anything like that it's it's better to uh, put super clear right after it to actually seal it off so right now this one I believe is semi yeah it's a semi gloss but I got myself a flat one flat is better all right so I'll wait for this to dry all right so I brought my girls back in uh, they're dry as you see I did not go completely white 
that's for a good reason I mean why not and um, so she's gonna have more of a lively face I guess let's go ahead and uh, check it out I mean it's when you do things like that you gotta keep your mind open to things so I think I'll start with a bigger one because she's easier to draw on um, let's make some facial feature for the clown so as I said when you put the clear coat it is a lot nicer to draw on it's easier fix it up right away by the way this is Prismacolor Premier uh, just a regular black for the drawing
idea I had to find the right dress that would fit her because the other one was too tight. It would have been cute, but it was way too tight. So this is the one she was wearing before. Now I've got to figure out the head. Since she looked like a sad bride, because that's what she's supposed to be. Although, you know, I may want to give her some black hair, make her a little goth. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm not sure about the veil. I do have the veil here, but it doesn't hold really well. So I'm not sure about that yet. But uh, yeah, I'll have to put some uh, some dirt. I mean, some of the dye did come out on off. This was the one that uh, could barely um, dye. But I like what it did to it. So that's good. That's working for me. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to figure out her outfit. And I'll have to figure out the head. And... I do have some other wigs. I think this one is the one she used to have, which meh doesn't really thrill me. Uh, like I say, it's more sad than creepy at this point. So you don't have to keep the same. Oh, that's not bad actually. That is not bad. If I pull it back like that, where she's got a large forehead. I think that's going to be it. It's going to be the one. As for this, yeah, that might be overkill. So anyway, I need to warm up uh, my glue gun, looks like. And then I'll get back to you. Sad Jessica and Crazy Nelly. I think this will work. What do you think? Yay, nay? Maybe, maybe not. Yes. Alright, ready for more. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>